this eventually. And today, I'm going to be doing something just a little bit different. I'm actually going to be talking about the voice actor of Link from Ocarina of Time. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Link's voice actor? In the older Zelda games, the most familiarity you're going to get from anyone's voice in those games is by like a dragged out yell. Like this, for example. Let me test out my Zelda fans real quick. Which Link is yelling? <coughs> yeah, that was easy. But you get the gist. When you've played as many Zelda games as I have, any hardcore Zelda fan will be able to tell the difference between each Link's voice by just the little noises they make. Today, I actually wanted to talk about Link's voice actor from OOT, one of my favorite video games of all time. And yes, I abbreviated it so I didn't have to say time twice in the same sentence. And saying it out loud just defeated that purpose. This is actually a perfect video for the year we're in, as fans found a beta version of the original Zelda 64 cartridge where it has files of old maps and all that geeky stuff from Nintendo's Space World event way back when. Space World was held in November of 1997. Whoa. My brain was only like two months big. The thing that I find weird is it's actually an F-Zero cartridge with Zelda information on it. As a kid, I always found it mind-boggling hearing characters from my childhood's voices coming out of a different mouth. It always felt like it was breaking the fourth wall when that's not its intention. My mind will just trigger the memory of hearing this voice from this thing and that will take the immersion out of this thing for me. And just so we're on the same page, I'm not gonna be looking through his entire history of voices because, well, then I'd just be a talking Wikipedia page. I'm only gonna be skimming through his many works of shows and video games he's lent his tonsils to. I'm gonna cherry pick a few of my favorites from the list and give you guys some facts and trivia. What I'm looking for is voices similar to Link from Ocarina just to see if maybe I can psych myself out. Now, let us take a look at the many voices of Nabuyuki Hiyama. I may be saying that wrong, so I'm just gonna call him Noob for the rest of the video. We gotta at least show off his bright beginnings with Hiei from Yu Yu Hakusho. That character may be familiar to some of you. Luckily, the video game Jump Force has a variety of anime characters from Japanese animation history all coming together to battle. And guess which character is in there with a trailer? This was one of the first characters in his film career that he's ever lent his voice to. Hiei is a playable character in Jump Force. Let's check out his trailer, shall we? That is weird, but cool. It's crazy how years can fly by and a voice actor can still nail their original performance. Noob has voiced a lot of characters in anime. I mostly wanted to focus on his game characters. I might as well just name a few from well-known shows that he's been in to uh, tickle your fancy. Of course he is a Japanese voice actor, so if you watch anime in English dub, how I prefer it, it won't really make a difference. But anyways, he's voiced Shin from Cowboy Bebop, Mr. 3 from One Piece, Uzu Sanagiyama from Kill la Kill, Barry Khan from Dragon Ball Super, and in the anime Demon Slayer, he voices the character Kusugai Garasu. What the hell is a Kaikusugaragasu? Kaigurisu? Kasugugugaraisu. Bro, this sounds like a freaking final boss. Oh, it's just a bird. The bird is a word. 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 Ow! Oh, God, sorry, 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 sorry. Now, those are just five characters he's played in anime shows. That is just scratching the surface of all the work this guy's done. Anyways, let's get into the video games. Noob has also been a consistent voice actor for Joe Higashi from King of Fighters since 1993. 
He even voiced Higashi in the animated movies Fatal Fury 1 and 2. He voiced a character named Joe. Nice! He's been the voice of Higashi all the way back in 93, all the way to 2021, with King of Fighters 15. Huh! Talk about loyalty! Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Noob's very first character in gaming he's ever voiced is a guy named Tosh Monji from the game Ark the Lad. I've never heard of this game, but it's a lot like Fire Emblem from the gameplay I've seen uploaded by The Innocent Sinful. That's some high quality footage there, Sinny. I like this video. I'm gonna like the video. Besides Higashi, Noob has consistently been the voice of Siegfried Stauffer. I definitely butchered that name. From the Soul Calibur games. Dang, that's sick. I grew up with Soul Calibur 2 on the GameCube when my brother owned it. Link was an exclusive console character. That's why it's my favorite. But then that means Noob voices two different characters in the game. Imagine having them fight. That's gonna be a lot of noobs yelling. <laughs> Besides Higashi, and besides Siegfried, he's also voiced Dmitry Maximov in several games like the Darkstalker series and fighting games like Namco and SNK vs Capcom. I feel like Noob has been around in several things lurking in the background of games and shows we might have watched when we were growing up. Noob never had any English lines in Ocarina of Time. It was nothing but sound effects for his actions. I'll always find it cool and culturally intelligent when you can recognize a voice or an actor in some kind of media who you haven't heard from in a long time. So there you have it, a quick little gander at the many voices of Nabuyuki Hiyama. I hope he's doing well. And any kind of possibility, slight chance that he might be watching this? Hi! But before we end the video, after getting through Link's voice actor's works of him not voicing Link, we can't forget about Princess Zelda, the most beautiful in the land. Oh, shoot. To end the video off, I'm gonna throw in an honorable mention. A friendly fun fact of the voice of Zelda from Ocarina of Time, Jun Mizusawa. She reprised her role as Zelda in Twilight Princess, Super Smash Bros. Brawl, 3DS, and Wii U. This is a very special moment for us, because as we all know from experience, Link and Zelda don't talk. Zelda talks less than Link, who already doesn't have a single speaking sentence. Lucky for you, my fellow viewer, I did a bit of research and found out Miss Mizusawa has actually voiced a character in an anime. Anime! We finally get to hear the original, na na na, the OG voice actress for Princess Zelda. Speaking, saying something other than an inappropriate, out of context sound. May we dive into this momentous occasion together. She just sounds like a lady. But hey! Zelda! Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you really like my content, go ahead and leave a subscribe. I'm like wiggling my camera with my knee, right? And if you really like my content, you can support me directly in my endeavors in the Patreon link down below. Well, with everything said and done, it is time to finally say goodbye to 2021 and say hello to 2022. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Merry Christmas if you had one, happy holidays if you don't celebrate, and have a happy new year.